Welcome back to Bayou Time. It's now my pleasure to be joined by several members of the Home of Fire Department. We have Chief Corey Henry, and we also have Captain Matthew Guidry and Jimmy Guyot, who is the Fire Equipment Operator with Home of Fire Department. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate you having you on. Thanks Thank for you. having us. All right, uh, of course, there have been some recent uh, reports in, in the media all over uh, some fires that have happened. Uh, of course, we've talked a little bit during the break that maybe it's, it, it's not anything unusual as to uh, frequency. It's just a little bit more reported now. Uh, could you tell me just a little bit about, the, I guess, fire safety in general and some tips for the people out there? For tips that you can use in your home, uh, we'll just start with the safety aspect of it. Uh, sometimes we do see carelessness with candles or items like that. So if you're going to use candles, it's kind of same along the same lines of space heaters. You want to make make sure that at least one foot away from anything that's flammable with those candles. You want to make sure they're on, on a hard, non-flammable surface for those things. Um, another cause that we do see is smoking inside. Uh, people that that use their cigarettes sometimes discard them in trash cans and not in an appropriate container. So if you're going to smoke inside, you know we suggest that at least an ashtray be used. You make sure those those cigarettes are completely out before you throw them in the trash if you choose to do that. Uh, another common thing that we do see is just charging electrical items, uh, whether it be laptop computers or cell phones. Sometimes they have a tendency just to fall off maybe the nightstand or a pile of clothes on top that can create mm -hmm. a, a hazard for you. And then, so that to kind of prevent it, and then to to make it safe, you know, we should just like children do in schools is conduct fire drills. We should conduct fire drills within our home at least twice, twice a year, uh, making sure that we do know two ways out of our residence or our, our bedrooms. And of course, uh, smoke alarms. Make sure we have smoke alarms at least in the sleeping areas and right outside. Uh, we don't recommend putting alarms inside the kitchen, uh, dude, just because they'll go off while you're cooking and it'll create false alarms and you end up taking the batteries out or, or moving it anyway. So. so so it wasn't just my bad cooking. That's no, normal. No. A lot of people do <laughs> right. that. Okay. Well, good. Good to know then. All right. Uh, Captain Guidry, if we can talk just a little bit about something you've seen in your experience of a common uh, issues that, that may be out there that, that tend to get people in, in trouble and lead to fires out there. Uh, just off the top of my head, you're going to have a fair amount of cooking issues uh, that, that are going to lead to, you know, kitchen fires that, that may progress even further than that. So, you know, something simple just to do with that is, uh, of course, always be attending the, the, the kitchen or, or the, uh, the, the pot mm -hmm. or the pan or what you're, uh, you're cooking in and have a cover, have a plan to, you know, cover that up if it does catch, um, you know, keep the kids out of the kitchen. Those can, that can always lead to some, some type of mishap. Um, he said charging, um, you know, batteries, one thing that came to mind when he said that was like lithium batteries with hoverboards and, mm -hmm. and uh, even the, uh, the, the, the scooters, the, um, the disabled um, wheelchairs and things like that. That's, that's actually been, a, been an issue too. Uh, other than that, electrical issues, you know, um, over, overloading circuits, you know, that's, that, that's another one. Those, those are the two big ones off the top of my head that, that we're going to see a lot of. Now, for, for you mentioned hoverboards and things like that, that you might have plugged in you know, when you run down the battery, but you may not be using it for a couple of weeks at a time. Is it, some, is it a problem just to leave it plugged in and charging all the time? Uh, you should probably follow your recommendations from your manufacturers on that, but it's usually going to tell you not to leave those things plugged in uh, for extended period of time. Okay. And, and also another thing you mentioned, let's see if I can get Jimmy down there to talk a little bit. You mentioned about, mentioned about power surges. Is there anything that uh, you, know, you can do to protect against that? On power surges? Yes. Just to make sure that, like, like Captain Guidry said, is, uh, you know, re read those instructions. Uh, make sure we're following what that manufacturer wants us to do per item. Uh, some, some of them want the battery to be completely disposed of before you charge it. Um, the other thing is just to make sure that it's not tampered with before using, because if that battery is full and you have something that, that might be damaged or something like that, mm -hmm. it, could, it could cause an injury in that aspect. All right. Uh, 
Chief, let me ask you, uh, I guess another thing that people uh, keep in their homes is fire extinguishers. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the importance of that and I guess to check to make sure it, it's not expired as well? Yeah, so we should have our fire extinguishers inspected or checked at least once a year. Um, we do recommend that you put them by an exit and not necessarily on any, by the stove or any, a, a kitchen sink or anything where most people put them. Mm -hmm. um, we want to put them between the exit and the fire. That way, if you do grab it and the fire is bigger than what the extinguisher can handle, you know that the exit's right to the back. And just looking at the gauge, making sure it's in the, the green, the okay nice. portion, and you're good. I see. And a lot of people might might buy them and then put them somewhere, and then even forget that they have them. They know that they need one, but uh, but to just buy it and don't think about it for a couple of years. But again, like you said, it's, it's a once a year thing that you need to go ahead and make sure know where it is, and then yeah. also check to see if yeah. It's a lot of people don't want to put them where you know it's ugly, you know, because it is a big bright red thing laying <laughs> on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last uh, again we mentioned some fires in the area we only have about 30 seconds but was there any common theme on all or were they all just separate little issues that, that happened most of them were separate little issues um they were we had six within the last two months all of them went to two alarms except for one I see. so they, they were significant fires all right well we thank you all very much hopefully people out there will take y'all advice and, and keep themselves safe thank you thank you all right, stay tuned for more right here on HTV.